what's up everybody it is nerf here and today is another ranked match video um okay so i'm playing mono energy ranged i don't play this deck very often if i'm playing energy i'm usually actually playing structure energy um i do like a turn two spark but seeing as i'm going first i'm actually going to sacrifice that spark because uh, since we're going first, I'll have the control of or this dust runner you can move around. And I could play gun on them on next turn anyways, and then I'll have a Oculus Cannon Burn, which is a very good starting hand. That was like one of the best starting hands I could possibly have. Maybe a Forge instead of the Oculus Cannon or something, but this is still fine. Um, because it looks like he's playing Mono Decay. Um, I still like my curve going up here. So I will go like this, and I will put the gun on the baton, uh, just in front of him slightly. Hmm. Sorry, Josh CVV, but I don't, I don't recognize his name. I, I play a ton of matches that are a lot of people, but um, maybe just when he plays, we happen to always get matched together. I don't know. <laughs> um, but okay. So, ma machinated is cool. Yeah, machinated is pretty cool. Um. I think it's better if I deal one damage to him, I could burn him next turn and draw a card, and then hopefully the gun on the time survives to like destroy the Ripper in the back. Maybe play a Rot Deer next turn, that would be kind of annoying. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sacrifice the Mashing I'll play the Oculus Cannon. I also want to move away so he can't move down and chase me with the Oculus Cannon attacks. Because right now, if I stay here, there's a chance that he has a Brain Lice as a turn 3 play, and kind of hurts me here but i think that'll be okay because that would mean he plays a brain lice instead that mean he plays a brain lice instead of like a rot eater so it'll be okay so let's see best case scenario is just plays like a harvester or a blight bear and not as protection here in this row so i can destroy both of these guys uh sorry let me close the door Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so that didn't work out too well, but it's okay. And he moved. Ooh, Josh CBB, why did you move? Um, yeah, that was a bad idea by him. Uh, so I guess Roger right wasn't too bad if he moved too. And I guess he wants to move for the Roger right in the middle, but okay. Did you say anything? No. So we're definitely gonna burn. Actually, do we want to burn? So let's see. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to burn this, and now that destroys both of them, so I'll just move you down, and that will be the turn. It's fine. And I could waste next turn without doing it, well it's not wasting, but I'm still sacrificing for resources, but I could have a turn where I don't play anything, and the next turn play a cannon. Um, that might be a good idea. Seeing as I think we can afford to do that, you, you don't have two strong creatures in the board. I'd really like to get a cannon out of that. And he does not have another play. But I'm actually going to sacrifice for cards here because against Decay, as we know, structures are really strong. So it'll be awesome to get this forge out right in the middle. And I will keep the thing that's going to have two countdown in the middle. That way, he can move towards whatever. Uh, Josh CVB puts down this turn. So if he puts like a unit down up here on top, he'll have two turns to get up there and attack. So Elmira Hunter, right in the middle. Okay. Um, not sure why I would put it right in the middle because then this thing could just move up and destroy it. Well, I guess I can't destroy it, but I'm just a lot of stuff I could do. So I could just machinate this turn and sacrifice a spark, I guess. I'll machinate to kill it. Just in case he's like a witch doctor next turn. Um, and. Play an Oculus Cannon. Down up here. Okay. So it's looking good now. I have three structures on the board. That, that forge is going to give me more stuff. So make sure you check the description below if you want to see the deck I'm using. So. This is my ranged build right now. Um, 
it's a little bit different from last time in that now it has like a I think a two piercing projectiles because those are really well dust runners. Um I think that's actually the only change. I'm not positive. You could just check the description. It doesn't like list the scrolls in the deck, it's uh the copy you can copy it into the deck builder where it says if you load deck, import deck, or you can import it into the scroll deer, scrolger deck builder on scrolger.com or scrollsguide.com into the deck builder. So yeah. Um So it would be I would have to mess up kinda of hard probably to lose this game. Let's see what Josh can do. So I kind of had the perfect draw up to round six. I had a burn, a forge, a couple of Alcos cannons, and mashing it when I wanted it. Uh turn one drop and turn two drop, so it's pretty much all you could ask for. And didn't have to sacrifice any bombards yet. So let's see what Josh CVB can do. Only two cards for him. Um, I guess he's probably gonna play like a Oblivion Seeker or Life Stealer down bottom row. Running out of time. Um, you there? I'm not sure he's there. Okay, so let's sacrifice Cannetta. Storm Runner is awesome, so we'll just play that. And again, I I want the two counts I think in the middle. Both of them are going to have two counts. Every, actually, everything's going to have two counts now. But I will actually have Storm Runner in the middle because Storm Runner is amazing. Okay, Josh, come back, Josh. Okay. And next turn, it should be good. Because, like, Against the K, Storm Runner is really deadly because the K tends to clump up. I did already uh, use two machinators. Well, I used one, sacrificed another one, so I only have one more machinator in the deck. Um, so, but Storm, so that means he can languid my Storm Runner, and there's not a super high chance I'll be able to draw something. Because he'll come back in the game, but it'd be kind of hard. But I don't think he's there right now. Okay, well. I don't think he's there. Um, I guess I'll speed this up. Because this is a really short, it's probably gonna be a really short video. Maybe I'll decide to put two ring patches in this video with the same deck. I don't know, it might be a thing I try now and in the future. Because to improve the quality of the video, it's really kind of weird to have like a really short ring match, but I don't wanna just, I don't have much time lately. So I don't want to just waste time, uh, like recording and then not using it. It was too short of a match. So we'll try to get another match in with this deck. So uh, let's see. Unless Josh CVB comes back right now and makes this a really long game. <laughs> but it doesn't look like he's there. He didn't disconnect though. I think he just AFK. All right. So there we go. Up only again. One rating. Oh well. And let's see. Let's see if we can find a match relatively cool. Woohoo! Finally found a match. Okay. Took a long time, so I'm probably going to gain like one rating again. Oh, Stubby. Stubby's good. Stubby is, I think, relatively high rated. I'm not sure. Okay. So, pretty good starting hand, I'd say. Uh, no Dust Runner for turn one, but he can't have everything, I guess. I don't know why he says that. He, I think he won our last matchup. Okay, growth. Should be a good match. Um, growth, 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 growth. I'm not sure what I want to sacrifice. I want to go two, three. It's going to be one of these guys. He goes first, so I'm going to sacrifice the smuggler. And I want to keep the gun auto because it's going to be better with the scout auto. Uh, since he went first, I think I'd rather have the high health unit. Okay, nice. He didn't have a turn two play. Two, three, three. Sacrifice the bounce person. I want to keep that match in it, especially with the cannon in hand. 
Eh, he probably wants he knows more than that. Okay. Um So I hope you guys like today's double feature. <laughs> I'll try to do this more if there's only if there's very little matches. I'm gonna go for the double scout autoplay. And I'm going to sacrifice the machinated. We're going for the double scout automaton play. And we'll put the scout in front only because it has armor. That's it. Just because it has armor. It's more important than the gun automaton, but it has armor. And growth has many problems with armor, especially armor 2, like wing shields. But energy is more like armor 1 stuff, like Tempest Reaver and Cannon Automaton and Scout Automaton. Okay, Senior Stubby. Alright. Burn is cool. I will save that burn. I will go ahead and sacrifice Canada and play a scout on time. Um, I like that. Boom. Maybe I should have moved the gun auto up too, because in case I draw a bombard, I could do stuff. But I don't know. So next turn, I do kind of want to save the burn for this mystic once I damage it a little with this gun on top. Maybe he's gonna have protection for it. I don't know. He's for all he knows, I could have a spark in hand. Oh, there's a. Okay, well, it's not gonna kill that. Fortunately, and I will. I don't want to sack either of these things, so I'll burn first. If I get a spark. That'd be awesome. Machinated, I will actually sacrifice that. I don't like sacrificing two machinateds, but it's something I'm going to do because I want to keep the cannon and route source on my hand. Because cannon is going to have, what, seven attack? And if I draw piercing projectile, that'd be awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the updated deck. Right now you have one health. But you're probably you're probably going to die this turn anyways. Hopefully he doesn't have a veteran. That would be kind of the worst case scenario. But he's, if he has a veteran, I could still clear his board this turn with final dispersal. So, I guess he's kind of in a tough spot here. Maybe he forgot the veteran doesn't destroy the scout auto. I don't know. Ooh, that's pretty good for him. Eh, actually, not amazingly good. Well, if he, he could get a uh, quick off this coming turn, that would hurt me a good amount. I'll put the cannon on right in the middle there. And if he quakes now, it would hurt. But it would put him further behind tempo-wise. And I'm almost top diving. He does have a bunch of cards. Because he was able to get value out of that... Uh... No quake. He was able to get value out of the Earth or Mystic last time. Spark. I will sacrifice the spark. Piercing projectile. I'm just going to bounce dispersal this. It's not really another play I could do this. I could move up and not do anything. That might be a better idea. Just move up. But I... Now I want to keep a consistent flow of stuff every turn. So I'm just going to... Sacrifice. Not sacrifice. What am I talking about? Do that. Um, and then I'll do this. So now, if he doesn't have a veteran this turn, or like a double red wolf, or a red wolf, uh... Right, wolf, champion, or something like that, then whatever he puts down will be in danger of getting hit by a big attack. Also, a piercing projectile and burn. Piercing projectile on this dude would be absolutely epic. Burn, piercing projectile. Stubby sacrifices for scrolls. I mean, ooh, there's a, another frost scale. Well, I can't use that burn. I'll sacrifice a spark. Piercing projectile. Uh, I'll sacrifice a piercing projectile. I think spark is, as much as I want to get a cool piercing projectile, projectile play, it's smart to just keep the spark because spark is much more useful. Um, I will go ahead and destroy an idol. Middle idol, so that's really important. And I will put Cannonetta right in front a potion resistance on it because why not? Because I don't want it to get better and sure. Whatever. I have the resources, so it's one card. It's 
probably won't make a huge difference. Who knows. So now I took down middle idol and hopefully I can win pretty quickly. I have a burn spark in hand so whatever he puts down there's a good chance I'll be able to destroy it. Um, but if, he, if he's another frost guy that'd be pretty good for him. For all, yeah he does, okay. Um, and I would like to, okay, a replicathon's pretty cool. I'm going to keep that. Okay. Uh, you post stupid phone. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move up with your you protect with your with your with your potion resistance. You can protect, and then I'll put a replicaton and a dust runner. Yeah, I was on mute right now. Um. Look how cool, actually that's, that's, I don't know if cool is the right word, that cannon automaton, eh, that, bleh, bleh, I can't even talk, that cannon automaton, look at it like, rapid fire jiggling like that, that's pretty cool. Alright, back to me. Sorry guys, my grandfather called. Okay. Grey Wolf up there, I'll keep the burn, sacrifice the dust runner, pretty good. So let's go like that. Destroy an idol. Protect. And get a storm runner down. Storm runners are amazing. Alright. So let's see. As it stands right now, my guys would just destroy that great wolf of the stern. And I think he runs quakes. If he does, then he's probably searching for one right now because there's really no way he would come back in this game without a couple quakes or something. He's already played all three of his frost scales, I think. Um, yeah, it seems like close resistance kind of wastes on the cannon. Actually, maybe a protected against a veteran or two. So who knows? Ooh, Kinblock Yarl. It's a pretty big creature. Kind of wish I have a. Uh, kind of wish I had. A bounce source for that. I'll sacrifice the hired smuggler. Oh, bombard. I think we're gonna go for that because I want to make sure I take this thing down in case he has like a god hand or something like that. So let's see. Uh, can I win actually? I don't think I could win. Because I have this Oculus Cannon too, so that could do a bunch of damage. Four. Yeah, I don't think I can win, but I'm still going to bombard. Alright, so let's see. So that would do five damage plus two damage. Then do six damage. Alright, so five damage. All right. So, boom. I'll just do it like that. That looks good to me. Awesome. But we're still, we're not, we didn't win the game yet. The game's not over till it's over. He has seven resources and six cards. I don't think there's a way he would win this game, but my things are generally, they're pretty low health. Like for example, if you had a Quake Frost scale this turn, then he might be able to win the game. But I know he doesn't have a Frost scale, but he's already played three. He's look all at myself how low health it is. Like three health, died for Quake Frost scale. Everything else is two health, except for the structures. Okay, so now is that GG? Yes, it is. It is GG. Can we make a multiple idle GG? So that's six. So that's four. Plus. No, I don't think it's a multiple idle GG. Doesn't look like it. Actually, is it? So let's see. So that would be. No, it's not. 
Oh well. So let's see, what do we have to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yeah. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the double feature today. Um, made for a more substantial video. Got five rating for that match. Not too bad. And thank you for watching. So make sure you submit your top your top play to me, nerfthemjoe@gmail.com, and maybe you can be in top plays of the week. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more content like this, and keep supporting Scrolls because Scrolls is being is coming out of beta and will be marketed by Mojang in at the end of August. At the end, not not the end of August. It's September right now. At the end of the fall. So make sure you get hyped up and show all those non scrolls players out there why scrolls is so awesome. And hopefully this game becomes a huge hit. Tablet version 2 and stuff. And that'll be it. So keep scrolling, scrollgers.